This problem gives us a disk's angular position along with three values, its angular position and angular velocity at time equals zero, and its angular acceleration at one and a half seconds. And it asks us in part A to find A, B, and C. We can start this by calculating omega, the angular velocity, the derivative of the angular position, and alpha, the angular acceleration. That's the derivative of the angular velocity. So those are shown here. We can use the value of alpha, they tell us, to find the constant c. Alpha at one and a half seconds is 1.25 radians per second squared. We can set that equal to the expression, minus six c times the time, one and a half seconds, and solve it for the constant c. When you calculate, you find that it equals negative 0.139 radians per second cubed. Now we can use the expression for omega to find the value of b. At time zero, omega is two radians per second, and that equals b minus three times c times the time, which is zero seconds squared. So we see right away that the value of b is two radians per second. Doing a similar thing with the expression for the angular position, at time t equals zero, the value is pi over four, and that equals a plus b times t minus ct cubed. So we see that a must be pi over four radians. In part b, we're asked to find the angular acceleration alpha at time t equals zero. We can do this by just substituting the value of time into the expression, showing that alpha equals zero when t equals zero. Now let's move the values of a, b, and c up here and erase so we have room to solve part c. Here we're asked to find theta and omega, the angular position and velocity, when alpha is three and a half radians per second squared. We'll first use the expression for alpha to find the time when alpha has the given value. So 3.50 radians per second squared is minus six c times t. Solve this for the time and you find that it's 4.20 seconds. At t equals 4.20 seconds, alpha is 3.50 radians per second squared. And now we can substitute that value of time into the expressions for theta and omega. First for theta, it equals a plus b times the time minus c times the time cubed and you get 19.5 radians. And now for omega, that equals b minus three c t squared, and calculate to find that equals 9.36 radians per second. 